I'm so excited to talk to you about the topic that we have today because it's something that is near and dear to me and that I take very seriously in my life and that is transitioning your bathroom into being more zero waste and waste free if possible. I started my zero waste journey this year honestly is when I started becoming more aware of the impact that disposable products have on our environment and I am by no means perfect and again it's not about being perfect it's about taking those simple steps to a better earth and I'm gonna go over 12 products that can help you transition into a more zero waste bathroom and if you've already started this journey please share any of your tips or tricks in the comment section below so we can share info together. The first product that I want to talk about is the Tushy Bidet. I want one of these so badly, I'm saving up for one of these. My husband actually told me about it a couple months ago and I was mind blown, but what it is, it's a bidet that attaches to any standard toilet that um, obviously cleans your backside, you don't have to use any toilet paper and everybody swears by this. They have amazing reviews on Amazon and it's something that if you're really serious about going waste free is a good first step. Also all of these products I'm talking about are going to be linked in our blog post so make sure you check out this blog post on pixiecup.com. On the topic of toilets, let's talk about toilet brushes. Um, most toilet brushes are made from plastic from top to bottom or they have really harmful chemicals like those little toilet wands that are plastic that you then put um, a plastic little head on it that has harsh chemicals on it and then you throw that plastic bit away and dispose of it. All in all, it's just not a very practical, sustainable way to clean our toilets, but there are toilet brushes that are made from wood and other materials that are much better, that are natural materials that can compost when you get rid of them. So look for a toilet brush that is made from wood, that has natural hairs that aren't made out of plastic. There are plenty to choose from, and again, you can usually find these in your health, common health food stores. Next, let's talk about floss. Dental floss is something we're all used to, but did you know most floss is made out of plastic, which means that it goes into our landfills? Not a good thing. So one solution to this is a brand called Dental Lace. Their floss is completely compostable, um, but it's also still waxed and has mint flavor, so it's what we're used to. But this way, when you're using floss and you're tossing it, it's composting instead of just turning into more trash in our landfills. So that is a fantastic option. If you're somebody who uses floss every day, definitely check out Dental Lace Floss. On the topic of teeth, let's talk about a waste-free option for your toothbrush. A toothbrush is something that we all use and then we throw away when we're done with them. And again, they're made out of plastic, so this just adds to the landfill trash and there are alternatives that are compostable or recyclable, and one of those being a bamboo toothbrush. You can get these in any health store. I've seen them at Whole Foods, Sprouts. You can also get them on Amazon. But this way when you're throwing your brush away, again, it's composting instead of just being plastic that sits in our earth. So definitely look into a bamboo toothbrush. I've also heard that they last a lot longer than plastic because they're made out of better materials. So check that out. One thing that we as women take very seriously is our hair, and I know that I was raised thinking that I needed to use every hair care product under the sun, and in reality, it's actually better for our hair to do less to it. So again, on your zero waste journey, it's smart to transition out of shampoo that comes in plastic bottles and transition into something like a mason jar with a pump top that you can refill at bulk stores. We have a link to one on this blog. Also, there's the option of shampoo bars that are just bar soap that are made specifically for your hair and those have no waste at all so that's something that I'm going to be using as soon as I use up the rest of my shampoo is a shampoo bar so that's another option for you if you want to get rid of more plastic. Another thing that we throw away unnecessarily are our brushes and combs that maybe we've used too much but you don't have to feel bad about throwing away old brushes and combs if they're made out of wood or bamboo. So those are two options that you have when looking for a more sustainable brush and comb set option. Our ones made out of wood or bamboo we have again one linked on our blog. So. You can also, again, find these at Sprouts or Whole Foods. I've seen them and I use them myself. They are way better quality than the plastic brushes. They're more durable, and when you throw them away, they're not negatively impacting our environment. I know I'm gonna be saying this a bunch, but it's just the truth when it comes to all of these zero waste options. The next product we're gonna talk about are reusable makeup remover pads. I know that in the past I have used makeup remover wipes and cotton pads to take off my makeup, both of which I throw away and end up in landfills, but these little pads that we have linked are reusable and you can pretty much use them until the end of time. And another option you have if you don't want to buy a new product is to get old t-shirts and cut them into strips and 
just use those as your makeup remover wipes. That's what I've been doing because I have plenty of t-shirts that aren't getting any use. I just cut them into squares and then I put a little bit of water or sometimes coconut oil on them to get my makeup off and I also use them as pads to use toner to clean my face and they have worked fantastic and I don't miss cotton at all. Plastic razors are what we all grew up on, but in my opinion, they are personally not needed, and they're not the best quality. At least for me, I've noticed that I've had to throw away a lot of razor blade heads because they don't last as long as I would like them to, and they're all plastic, and they just, I don't know, I just feel like we had better razors back in the day, and then they kind of progressively got worse, and now we're all trying to get back to the better solid metal single blade razors, which are great. Um, we have linked on our blog the safety razor, which is made of completely metal, and that way you have a better quality razor and something that you're not throwing away all the time. Moving right along to loofahs. Um, loofahs are something that I actually haven't used much throughout my life. I just wash with bar soap and I feel like that does the job. But if you're somebody that wants that extra exfoliation, which I don't blame you on, I probably should be using them, um, there are a few different types of loofahs that are made from natural materials that eventually just start breaking apart and biodegrading. And we have linked some that are Egyptian loofahs. Another option you have are sea sponges. So those are both options that you have to do cleaning and exfoliating that will eventually just dissipate and be able to be composted back into the earth. It's a way better option in my opinion. If you're someone that likes to use a nail brush to clean your nails and your feet and your toes, I would advise that you opt for one that's made out of wood or bamboo again. When it comes to any kind of brushes, toothbrush, hairbrush, nail brush, it's always best to look for ones that are made out of wood or bamboo or any other natural materials that will just be able to be composted. Number 11 on our zero waste bathroom list is in my opinion the most important and it is the pixie cup or a menstrual cup. Periods cause so much waste, just being realistic and candid here, from wipes to tampons to plastic applicators to pads to just all of the different things that we've used our whole lives as we've had our periods. Every single one of those things get thrown away and the most harmful in my opinion are the plastic applicators because those don't break down in any way and if you think about how many tampons we each use or used to use in a given day for me i would go through six to ten tampons a day depending on my flow and that's six to ten huge chunks of plastic per day that i am throwing into the landfill so when you start adding up those numbers six to ten plastic tampons a day for a week every single month, every single year, that number is pretty scary and that's just for one person. I was throwing away hundreds of ta plastic tampons and the cardboard ones aren't much better because it's still waste, although it's better than plastic. In my humble opinion, Pixie Cup is the best option for zero waste because you just use the cup. You don't need pads, you don't need tampons, you don't need anything else besides the silicone cup that you can then empty, wash, reuse for up to 10 years. That eliminates so much waste. To me, switching to a pixie cup is an absolute no-brainer if we're trying to do our part for the environment. Not to mention it is so much more comfortable, so much more sanitary, and helps reduce cramps, helps you be able to have more freedom. There are so many positive benefits that I have experienced in the last three years from using a menstrual cup and it is something that I advise every woman who still gets her period to use. It truly is such a huge lifesaver and makes such a big difference for our environment. Last but certainly not least on our list is investing in a compost bin. We have linked one that's on Amazon that's fantastic. Did you know that hair and tissues are compostable? If you don't want a separate compost for your bathroom, you can just use one for your house, um, for your food scraps, for your coffee grounds, for your tea leaves, anything like that um, can go in a compost bin and then it breaks down, you can put it back into the soil instead of sitting in the landfill and creating toxic gases. Compost bins are a great investment and something that you can get even if you live in a small apartment, you can get little ones that sit on your counter. So it's definitely a good option if you're looking to go zero waste. I just wanna add a couple of my thoughts at the end here and I don't want you to feel like going zero waste is this big, unattainable, overwhelming journey. It doesn't have to be like that at all. 
it can be eliminating one thing at a time until you can switch over to a more sustainable option. That's the route that I've decided to take is I've personally tried to cut out single-use plastic from my life and if I do have any still remaining like my shampoo bottles or some soap containers or cleaners that I may still have, I do want to use those up before then switching to a better version because we don't want to go through a house and just hurry and throw away all of our plastic and we still want to use the products that we've purchased but just slowly start transitioning those over to more sustainable compostable options. I also want to reiterate that it's not about being perfect, it's about doing our best and we can all make such a huge difference. We need to stop demanding so many products that are just for our convenience or our world is going to suffer for it. So it's just smart for us to all take a step back and start doing our part to make the world a better place. And again, if you have any comments, tips, or tricks to share when it comes to going more zero waste, please share them with us. We would love to continue this conversation.